UNCTAD was established to address issues of how to integrate developing countries gainfully into the global economy. Africa, our time is now. Africa is young and growing, ready to breathe a new life into trade. Together we grow our economy. At the UNCTAD meeting, 14th conference of UNCTAD, uh, it's the first United Nations Development Community Conference to be held after the, the Sustainable Development Goals Summit in September in New York. So this marks the first opportunity to benchmark performance, to say how do we move from the promises of 2015 into actions that bring inclusive prosperity by 2030. We are fashioning concrete discussions, commitments by leaders, not only to show a proactive management of implementation, but also to counter the headwinds that have slowly been eating away at the spirit of multilateralism with some form of growing nationalism in some parts of the developed world. Any model that takes some section of society or some region of the world ahead while other areas are going backwards is not a model that is viable for the long term. And the growing consciousness, for example, that enterprises cannot continue borrowing on the environment or, and the resources of the next generation, um, is coming into the confluence with an awareness that socially it's unjustifiable with exponential growth of wealth accompanied by massive poverty or a shrinking of the middle class. So the sustainability is about viable economics of the long run. One of the main underutilized levers of prosperity and opportunity in the developing world is the creative industry. So I'm very happy and proud of the fact that we're having a fashion show as part of displaying the potential of the creative industry. Globalization, the global commitment to inclusive prosperity, international solidarity should not be drowned by short-term reversals, whether because of immigration issues or a growing xenophobia in some parts of the world. This is the time to say we can ride out the negative forces. We can identify the core issues that are causing to the negativity, but it should not be an excuse to take steps backwards on international solidarity. I think that's the main message we want to bring out of Nairobi.